everybody. Um, I hope everybody is having a good day or a good night, whatever it may be for you. I am doing my best at trying to get my videos recorded with the time constraints that I have and with a full-time job and different things going on in my life that have been chaotic lately. It's making it kind of difficult. So I wanted to get another video out there of an update as has as to how my braces journey is going but first of all for those of you that are new welcome to my channel and for those that are you for those of you that are returning subscribers thank you so much for coming back to watch this video as you can see yes i am in my car as i said um i have a full-time job and things are just a little bit chaotic sometimes and um I just gonna have to record whenever I can and piece it all together. And again, this is just a, another update for me um, along my braces journey. And we will call this about my eight to eight and a half week update. And what I want to go over in this video, speaking of videos, uh, we can go ahead and get on into it, would be um, the products that I have used since I've had braces. I kind of wanted to give you my opinions on those and um, how my progress has been going, what changes I've noticed, and those types of things. Um, I know it was helpful to me when I was watching videos before I got braces put on, and um, there's one channel in particular. Um, it's called Kimberly's Journey, and uh, she, again, has a YouTube channel. And Okay, so I am having issues with holding this camera and driving traffic is a little bit crazy so I am going to have to uh, continue this video once I get home and um, do sit down and go over what I want to talk about in this video because traffic's a little bit crazy on today um, out here and I don't want to cause an accident so I'll see you soon okay. hey guys all right, so now I'm back home. As uh, you saw earlier, I was driving around running errands today and things come up um, that I hadn't expected uh, that I had to take care of. So I was trying to get some footage while I was in the car. I think I mentioned earlier that it's about uh, eight to eight and a half weeks that I've been in braces now. And um, I will have to say uh, overall, I'm uh, enjoying my braces journey. And, um, yeah, I have two years in these suckers, so <sighs> crossing my fingers that all, all goes well. <clears throat> I still feel pretty comfortable with the uh, orthodontist that I have chosen. Um, and a previous video that I uploaded to this one does have um, my first follow-up that I had at my orthodontist. Because, as I know, before I got braces, it was uh, very helpful to me to not to compare compare apples to apples type of thing but uh, I definitely know that it's always neat to see what else someone else went through so you kind of know what to expect okay so what I need to do here is just kind of give you um, a update as to what I've been going through and then in doing that I want to talk about the braces products and my re uh, not really a review but my opinions on the products I've used how they have benefited me and how they haven't. Um, or if, if the, there's a few things I've actually bought and I haven't even had to use yet. The first thing I do want to make sure I talk about is wax uh, for braces. It's definitely uh, something that you, I would think, I know I did, and everyone else I've talked to that's high braces has had to use the wax and never feel bad about having to use it. Um, but uh, I have, uh, because of, my braces were put on um, September 5th and then two days later I'll never forget that day on the 7th uh, that I woke up and the inside like of my inner cheeks uh, were just so scuffed up from these metal brackets um, <clears throat> so it wouldn't have mattered if I would have went with uh, the clear ceramic uh, brackets on top and then the metal on the bottom and nevertheless though it's just rubbing the inside of your cheeks and it's just like you're None, none of us are used to that, um, uh, so, but that's what the wax is there for. You just uh, peel a piece of that off or roll it uh, in between your fingers to get a little warm and just 
kind of form it around each bracket that you feel like is rubbing on the inside of your cheek. So that's what I did. Um, and used it for a couple of days. Um, it's very helpful to me uh, on the 7th when I did that. And then um, it's not just a one-time application, unfortunately. You have to uh, take that off when you're brushing, uh, flossing. If you eat something, might as well go ahead and expect for that wax to just fall off or just take it off before you eat. And you're gonna have to brush and floss after you eat. So the wax is, is constant. Uh, take off, put it on, take it off, put it on. But it's definitely worth it. Um, and I only went through doing it for a few days because I wanted to let the ins inside of my cheeks actually get a little calloused and not to where they would just be, um, not that it would be hurting the in my inner cheeks, <clears throat> but with that being said, I needed to get used to it because I just didn't want to rely on that wax on a daily basis. Um, and then I would say that uh, a few weeks later, then I could tell that my teeth um, had shifted. Uh, with that being said, it's um, the brackets on those teeth, and it was ever so slightly, but I could tell that the brackets were rubbing in a different spot on the inner of my cheeks uh, from where I, they weren't rubbing before. So, therefore, I was back, back at using the wax again, and um, I went ahead and used it for two days again, and it was all day both of those days and then at night um, I went ahead and actually applied it um, on the, the seventh I had applied it I remember um, almost on every end of it from I have uh, from my canines and then a couple of teeth back I actually have hooks and then down here I have hooks that are on those uh, specific brackets and I have some hooks that are on the brackets that are on the molars in the back and those are for later in the braces journey that uh, I will be getting um, elastics. Uh, I don't know anything about that yet, uh, but the, that'll be later on uh, nothing. But that's what the elastics hook to is those hooks that are attached to specific brackets. And the orthodontist puts them in a certain positions because he knows how he wants for your teeth to move. And everyone, again, is different. So I uh, can't ever tell you where your hooks are going to be or if you're even going to have any. Um, uh, but what I was saying was that uh, the wax, yes, I would had it on pretty much on every bracket that I could possibly put that on. It was, it was September 7th and the 27th of September. I know that I was only putting, yeah, that I was only putting the wax on the top brackets and mainly those ones with the hooks because the hooks kind of stick out a little further and that was rubbing the inside of my cheek and like I mentioned my teeth must have moved a little bit because they were shifting and rubbing in different areas than they were before. Uh, then uh, next item I know that I these actually these next two items I have bought Orgel. Okay so Orgel um, I've heard a few people um, say that they purchased it because it was their gums were hurting as though they had a cavity and I think we're all familiar with what Orogel is. Um, I so far have not had to use it, not use the Orogel and I really don't want to get used to, have to having to rely on that until it's absolutely necessary. And the next item I bought is this Dentec Instant Pain Relief and it looked like it was just going to be pretty much the same thing as Orogel but just a little more convenient of putting on as you can see in the picture there that it has an applicator um, that would just be, again, more convenient to be putting in your mouth so you don't have to use your fingers to make sure you get that on the right spots. The only difference between these two products is they both have 20% uh, uh, of benzocaine and then which is just the oral pain reliever and then the uh, Orogel has a menthol which is more of a cooling agent, I believe. Okay, the next item uh, that I bought because someone said um, to actually buy this when you go to get your braces put on because you're going to need it and that is either chapstick or Carmex something of equivalent to either one of those of course I went ahead and bought both uh, just a little container of uh, Carmex and uh, it's helpful it seems like um, which I don't know why this is but unless it again it's just a matter of you know moving your lips and um, 
having to position them differently than what you're used to. Uh, with that being said, the my lip my lips just seem like they got chapped quicker than they did before I got braces. I'm not sure why that is, but and if you know and if you've had braces and your lips did that too, leave a comment in the comment box below because I'm curious as to why. Maybe it just could be uh, again just because of how we have to maneuver our mouth uh, compared to what we weren't doing before braces. Um, and so yeah, Carmex and chapstick. The next thing that is uh, probably the most time consuming and oh my god, seems like so much of a chore is to floss. I think I may have found a easier way of something that I purchased today. However, I will go ahead and insert a video here in a minute that will show you how I floss um, because I use a floss threader. The orthodontist, I didn't even ask him about it. He went ahead and just brought it up anyways. And they sent me home with a little pack of those. So I'll go ahead and insert that video here now um, that shows me flossing using the floss threader. And also in this video, I'll have to go ahead and tell you um, these little uh, stick brushes, um, they're called in-betweens. And the reason that they're called in-betweens is because they're... Um, they're like little sticks that have uh, like this little brush on them. This is a this is a toothbrush that my orthodontist sent me home with, which is kind of nice, uh, I guess, for a toothbrush. <laughs> but uh, yeah, these little things I'm getting ready to show you in the video have these on them. And what those are is the uh, from the top or the bottom, however you can get whichever is most comfortable for you but anyways these get in between the brackets and they get between your teeth and the wire itself and you go into between each individual bracket but anyways like i said i'll go ahead and insert that video now so you guys can watch that Okay, so that video, um, sorry it was kind of bad lighting, but um, now that you've watched that video about the floss threading and putting that floss in that threader, just turning off with one knot and then having to weave it in and out of each of the brackets, 
Um, I picked up these today. Um, I don't know if it'll focus in or not. It shows it to be a different color because of the lighting that I'm using. But it's blue, um, Oral-B Glide. And these are a threader. This is just a threader, a floss. It's not a floss threader, but it's just floss that ha that is a threader. So, and it comes in this little box. And I think I got this box for $3.99, of course, plus tax. But it comes in these little paper packets. Anyways, it's, um, they come in these little individual uh, paper packets. So you don't really, it doesn't look like there's anything in here, but there is. You just tear it open halfway. And as you can see, there is in there I don't know if you can see or not it's a piece of floss so it doesn't look like it's much at the moment but then you pull it out and this unravels so therefore therefore you have your piece of floss but the main point of this is that one end of it is um, not no it's not flimsy like this end it's pretty um, sturdy so what this would do would be replace the floss threader that you just showed me trying to weave the floss through there and tie it off just with one knot and using that to weave in and out in between um, and the reason I'm just emphasizing on this flossing is just that it's so important I didn't realize you know how, how much uh, flossing would be involved after having braces if I knew I may have second guess this um, of not even getting braces put on I'm just kidding uh, no flossing is important uh, overall I always did floss before but I think maybe not enough I did have quite a few dental appointments before I had my braces put on um, a lot of uh, cavities unfortunately so and that was due to just uh, poor flossing habits uh, I did at least floss at least once a day um, I tried to do it twice a day, but I won't lie. It was usually just like once a day. And definitely with braces, um, keeping that up because I had to have those cavities filled. The orthodontist will not put braces on anyone's teeth. Um, or definitely know that mine specified that. Um, and I've heard it with other people that have had braces as well. They do not put braces on your teeth with knowing you have cavities because... Um, I think you can maybe still get them filled. I'm not sure, just depending on where the cavity is. But anyways, uh, these work in the same way. With the... You can laugh if you want, that's fine. Anyways, <laughs> you can stick this uh, through. Let me get closer here so you can see. So what you do is you stick this through. Ah. Uh, uh. And see how I just stuck it through and it's just behind the wire and so it's false and then gently pull it out and I know that looks kind of crazy but that's how you have to floss your teeth the next item not that I bought this because I got braces but it's um, now making me a uh, second guess of not using um, what I'm talking about is toothbrush. Um, I've always had, obviously, a toothbrush. Um, having braces on your teeth definitely can take a toll on the toothbrush itself. See how that's just kind of fray the top of that toothbrush? A lot of my toothbrushes that I've had, um, I don't even brush too hard. It's just the metal brackets are just uh, fraying the ends of those bristles. So... I am try I'm on a good good lookout for a, another toothbrush before though is what I second guessed on is um, buying um, another electric toothbrush I do have one I got to where I just quite kind of quit using it the orthodontist doesn't really care which brand that you use or what type I'd say that uh, my preference now is the manual just because I can actually feel where I'm getting at uh, whereas where an electric toothbrush you could just kind of run it over per se and and you know if they said it's spinning and stuff but you don't really know but I can just feel like I can get around and actually get into different areas uh, by the feel of just doing it manually so uh, 
uh, let's see, toothpaste. Uh, definitely this is not a braces product, of course. Um, but I would say I've always been a fan of, because I don't want to speak ill of any product um, per se, but uh, my favorite has always been Crest. Um, I've used Colgate in the past as well. Uh, Crest, though, is always something that my mother always bought for me, and I always uh, had good, clean teeth. But anyways, yes, Crest has always been a favorite of mine, but goodness, uh, with braces and constantly just trying to uh, test all these toothpastes out that the orthodontist might say this one works better or you might hear someone has better experience with this and that because with braces on and you've got something constantly in stuck in your braces unless you're brushing them after every individual meal after you eat any kind of snack it's almost like you just don't even want to even eat much at all because then you know you got the chore of brushing and flossing right after um, and I don't want to, uh, you know, downgrade it because it is something you got to do. Um, but toothpaste, yeah, uh, here's some choices. I've went through some Colgate, Crest, um, uh, Optic White. I am, let's see. And then I just recently bought this one here uh, for the sensitivity uh, because it, even though I've mentioned earlier that I've had cavities prior to getting braces put on and I got uh, all of those filled and then I had a periodontal uh, cleaning as well. But I just have to say that some of my teeth sometimes feel sensitive as, as, as if though there is a cavity there. feel like a, the cavity's there and then like a day or two later it goes away. And then that pain that was in that specific tooth is... It doesn't come back at all so I'm not sure if it's the braces so I've just been trying to um, experiment with different toothpaste um, that Colgate optic white I do like to use that uh, just once a day I don't of course use it every time I brush my teeth um, so yeah leave it in the comments below if you've had braces what kind of toothpaste that you recommend um, that you feel like kind of covers them all under one umbrella I don't know there's just so much uh, going on when you've got braces and um, the toothpaste so it just kind of makes you want to experiment and see what's best out there there is a two-step process that my uh, regular dentist had given me just as a promotion they had going on and there was um, a step one it was supposed to be like a cleaning plus whitening it's called the crest HD um, and there's step one is a purify uh, cleanser and a step two was the perfecting gel. And um, I don't know, I felt like I, I felt like my teeth were squeaky clean. I'll have to say that much. But as far as whitening, I feel like it did, it kind of minimal uh, for me. But maybe someone else has had better experience with that. Another thing that the orthodontist, uh, that I didn't actually buy, but he gave to me, because uh, I in my little welcome kit my goodie bag I guess if you want to call it was a little mirror um, and I thought well I've seen my dentist use this quite a few times or I've even seen the orthodontist use it um, and I'm sure you guys have as well however here's some pictures that um, I was thankful that I actually had this mirror um, and I'll insert those here uh, as you can see there's um, <clears throat> pictures I was able to take using that mirror because I kept having something that was catching on the inner cheek and the very, very back. And I would put my tongue over top of that tooth and behind it. And I was like, dang it, that's that wire. But I don't know what to do with it. But when I did go back for that um, ortho follow-up, which is my first one, um, I told him about it. And he's like, well, I did leave some excess wire there because he wants my top and bottom arches um, to both open up uh, is, uh, or very narrow. So anyways, he left an excessive amount of wire at the end uh, when he was running on the upper arch um, in the back. And he just kind of bent it and wrapped it around the back of the tooth. And um, it wasn't there for any reason except for just to have excess for when my arch opened up. Um, another thing um, that I did touch base on a little bit in my very last braces video which would have been that first ortho update I had, a uh, follow-up appointment, is I do have bite blockers. Um, 
that are on my molars and sorry I just had to feel almost forgot that they're there at this point um, yeah they're bite blockers and what I did I mentioned them in my last video but I didn't really go too much in the depth um, I don't believe uh, with why they're there but I'll insert the pictures here they're there for is to keep when you close your teeth together 